Hi, I'm Marie from wisdompreserve.life and I've paused constructing my greenhouse right now because it is time for me to start planting. I'll have to keep them in the house until the greenhouse is complete. But I'm following this new system this year, the Met Leader Gardening System. And so for that one, things are a little bit different. He has you make some custom soils and there's multiple different options in the course book. But for me, this is the one that I chose to do as my potting mix because it has, um, you know, the sawdust and the sand, which is, which is what I'm going to be doing for in the rest of the garden in my raised beds. But this one also includes the perlite and the perlite helps with the moisture. And so I think that that'll be better for in the greenhouse and dealing with my seedlings. So let me just show you how you do it. This is a pretty simple mix. All you do is 10 cups of sawdust. So that's eight right there. Nine and 10. And then seven cups of the sand. It's a little hard to dig into the bag, so I'll just do it like this. Now you want to get kind of coarse sand, you don't want it to be too fine, so you get like multi-purpose or concrete sand. Eventually I'm going to get a big batch of it, but for right now, that's what I'm going to do. And then three cups of the perlite. I'm always amazed by how light perlite is. And then at that point, you just mix it up. Now this isn't going to be enough to fill my flat, but if I do too much more than this, I won't be able to mix it very well. So now that I've got that mixed, I'm going to do two more batches to get it completely full. So I was actually able to fit four batches in the five gallon bucket, which is great because I'll be able to use this for multiple different flats. Now you might think that this potting soil mix that I've made is uh, a little simple, a little basic, that it doesn't have any nutrients in it, you know, just really good drainage and ability to handle moisture. And you would be correct because with the mint leader gardening method, it's about having that moisture control, having the drainage, and then adding the correct nutrients in amounts that you can, you can measure. So you get the exact right amounts for the plants that you need. So this is a good start for our gardening season. To learn how to make the mint liter pre-plant fertilizer, as well as the weekly feed fertilizer, go ahead and take a look at these links. Don't forget to like and subscribe and keep an eye out for the rest of the Mint Leader Gardening videos.